by myself but anyway guys today I'm going to be cooking pork chops and baked potatoes all my season okay sorry guys that is my seasoning what I'm going to need to do today since um I can't use a lot of um well I can't use salt period because I have high blood pressure guys and uh I had to go to the store so I like a lot of garlic powder so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna season up these pork chops yeah and this is what I use I use Mrs. Dash for those of you that have high blood pressure or can't use salt and stuff like that this is what I use So how is my family doing today? Cause guys, it is raining out here. Then I have to go get the girls in probably like an hour. So I just want to make sure I have them something to eat because today they're gonna be leaving me. I'm gonna be by myself. Yeah, I'm gonna be by myself. Which is not a good thing. I mean, it's not a bad thing either. Considering, I mean, I just give me some free time. Me some me time, really. So I probably hang out with my friends or whatever. A couple of my girlfriends or whatever. We probably go out to eat or some stuff like that. But, um, yeah, pretty much. So here we go, guys. I season up the pork chops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to do is, let's get my back. I'm going to, um, really have to wait till this grease get hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put the baked potatoes in the oven. Put the oven on like 325. See, I got them right here, nice baked potatoes. Loaded with some butter, sour cream, the black pepper. Yeah, it's gonna be yummy, yummy. Yummy for my tummy. Speaking of tummy, guys, um, I just came from the doctor today and my stomach, I don't know if it's some odd reason. My stomach, like when I eat, my stomach hurts. So I'm just trying to see what's going on with my stomach and stuff like that. I'll keep you guys posted on, on that too. Because I have to have a, uh, what's, what is it called? A grass, gastro cop or something? Gastro something. I got to read it on the paper. But I got to have like that procedure done. And what that procedure is basically is they go down in your stomach with a scope. And then they can see like really what's going on and why my food takes so long to digest, because basically that's what it is. My stomach just be hurting when I eat my food. It's just, like my food just sit there forever. And I be like, dang, you know, come on, come on, my stomach hurt. So basically that's what I'm going through right now with that. But um, pretty much that's probably what I did today. Just went to the doctor. Yeah, just went to the doctor and came back home. And then I'm gonna cook dinner for the kids before they leave to go with their grandma this evening. And, yeah. That's all, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't know. I just like a lot of, I like garlic party, guys. I really do. I'm gonna put this in this flour. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Throw it in the flour, throw it in the flour. Hold on. Yep. Put it up in there. Shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Ooh, I got, ooh, I got flour everywhere. Yep, 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 yep. Camera off here. Yep. Alright. You guys can see what I'm doing. That's 
the grease, guys. Nice and floured up. I forgot I need some mustard. One of the ingredients I forgot, guys, was the mustard. But I'm still gonna try to work it out. It's gonna work it out. Work it out. Work it out. So I'm adding a little mustard on it right now. So it's gonna be all right. Mustard. Forget about the mustard. Can't forget about the mustard. Yeah, my kids love when I put the mustard on there. So this grease should be nice and hot now. It's frying. We're going to put it up a notch. Man, the weather out here has been cold. Man, I'm going to show you guys the weather. And I'm going to show you guys my plant. I just started growing this plant right there. I put a piece. I got a piece of this from a friend of mine. And he just told me to put it in some water. And it will grow its roots, which you can see the roots right here. See the roots on it? It's growing its roots. But look at that weather outside, guys. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. But that's how we looking out here. That's how we looking. Okay, four starts are starting to fry. Yeah. Turn this water off. Get them nice and golden brown. And then, guys, what I did was I added a little, this right here, I added some mustard on it. Usually, you can buy that mustard. You can buy it in this kind of seasoning. You can buy it, like, with a, a mustard powder. I had just seen it at the store. I don't know why I didn't get it, because I'm so used to just putting regular mustard on it and just mix it all together. And it still come out good. But anyway, guys, with this, I'm going to be making some macaroni and cheese. Because the girls love mac and cheese. So, I'm going to start my mac and cheese. Yes, I make it from scratch. I use this and then I got my block cheese and everything. And I will be right back. I'm going to, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, and I am back, and as you can see, here is my macaroni and cheese. What I did, I put some milk in there, cut up the block cheese, and it's boiling. It's almost done. Here are some of the pork chops that I've done. And I just got this one left in the pot. And the only thing left is the taste test. Everything's almost done. As soon as the, uh, the baked potatoes are done, I'll be right back with the taste. All right, guys, I am back. And as you can see, I am done. And here is the outcome. Baked potatoes, macaroni and cheese, and fried pork chops. And here we go. Here go the time for the taste test. Macaroni and cheese. I'm use black pepper, but it's not bad. 
baked potato. I got butter and sour cream. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, that's delicious. This is good. Mm -hmm. On point. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And trust and believe me. We'll be back with more videos. As a matter of fact, guys, give me some um, ideas of what you want me to cook or whatever, and I cook it and everything. Just give me some cooking ideas. Until next time, I'll let you girl.